it, it's the same with uh, toxins. Right. Uh, as early as 1915, 1920, people were showing that cholesterol would protect about against toxins as well as infectious things. Mm. And Ravenskoff uh, did some studies on triglycerides, showing that they are also anti-infective. Um, uh, he showed that the um, triglycerides protect against uh, infective things, and uh, other people have shown that they are uh, anti-inflammatory, and uh, the low-density uh, lipoprotein and the uh, also the high density that uh, it, it happens if you have extreme exposure to chemicals, your high density lipoproteins increase, uh, and so they associate with a higher incidence of cancer. But and we're told that those are the good guys, and that you want a high high HDL. I mean high HDL. Yeah, uh, they're all good in the sense that uh, <clears throat> they. Uh, are there to protect you, but... Uh, when they're in elevated levels, it's showing yeah. that there's something else wrong. Like if you're low thyroid, you can have a cholesterol of a total cholesterol of 300. Yeah, if, if you take uh, alcohol or estrogen, your HDL will go up, but also if you take chlorinated hydrocarbons <laughs> and other things, they'll go up.